It's Western New York, CJ Country. It is Jimmy. And uh, what was it, three weeks ago? We had Alan Alda on the show, and I thought to myself, well, if I don't do any better than that this year, I'm doing pretty good. Well, here we go again. A guy who I am an absolute fan of, enjoy his work in so many great movies, two-time Academy Award winner, Emmy winner, Golden Globe winner, and uh, on the phone right now, Kevin Costner. Good morning, Kevin. How you doing? I'm good, Jimmy. Allow me to be a fan for a second. Uh, the movies I love. JFK is among my top 10 all-time favorites. I'm not even a conspiracy theorist, but I just love that movie. Loved your performance in it. You were great in 13 Days about the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, Tin Cup, For the Love of the Game, Field of Dreams, and then Draft Day. I am so bummed that Ivan Reitman did not make the film about our Buffalo Bills. You know what I mean? It ended up being about the Browns. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, that, was a, that was a coin toss, and, I, and it just kind of fell to Cleveland. You know, it's just, it just, it just how it went. So, um, you guys have been to the Super Bowl four times. They haven't been in a, they haven't been. So, they got the movie. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, uh, you're coming at us today with a different angle than you normally would, because uh, you're coming to me as a musician with a band. Your band, Modern West. You guys have been together for several years. You got a new single out that we're going to play here. I played some snippets earlier of your music on the show today. Um, normally, when people think actor wants to be a musician, has a band, their eyes roll. Do you, have you, do you get that? Have you gotten that from people? Well, I'm aware of it, but I don't, you know what I, you know, listen, I, this band has been for 12 years. I don't have a big machine behind me. I don't try to uh, go on television and do all the things that I probably could do. We just, co- we've just concerned ourselves with music and you know, we've made, I decided 12 years ago that I would uh, put this band together. Two of the members are from the very first band I was ever in in my twenties. And it was just for me to play music wherever live, wherever I was making a movie. There wasn't any really grand plan. And, you know, six records later, we played all over the world and we just play music for the people in front of us. And we aren't playing music to try to anticipate trends or what's considered, you know, playable. We, we just play our own music based on our own stories. And so I can deal with the rolling eyes, not very long, <laughs> mind you, I'll turn around and just go, go somewhere else. But I create my own bar of quality that something has to get over. And so for music, the idea that, that we've been able to play, we played Syracuse on an outdoor, uh, one of the best concerts we ever really, really played. That's, That's right. An incredible amount of people. It was really nice. So listen, I take my storytelling to music. Um, I don't try to lead with my right hand of publicity. I just do the music. How you came up with these last two songs, I'll, I, I really won't know. But I am grateful that you like them and have agreed to play them. And I want to talk about that for a second and the process because, you know, you listen with curiosity when someone like you, you don't expect to be making music. You listen and you go, okay, wow, they're not, you know, it's not bad at all. But then I started listening with my programming ears and my music director ears. I'm like, no, this band's got some licks to it. Kevin can write songs and he's got a very tuneful voice. You're really good. Well, look, you know, whatever, whatever process you have in your work professionally, you know, I have it my own, you know, Mm -hmm. um, if I was going to make a band and just do covers, I would, you know, elect to stay in my own living room. Right. Uh, if, I, if I was going to make original music and it wasn't really that good, I certainly, you know, wouldn't take it out, um, in, at least in my mind. I mean, that's the thing I actually do, do in the band. One of the things I do is I just I break all the ties. I decide what we're going to play, what we're, we're going to record. And it doesn't matter if it's my song or one of the other guys' songs. So, you know, my the job for me is to somehow get the, you know, let the cream get to the top. I, mm-hmm. I, I feel comfortable doing that. Kevin Costner on the phone. Acting is a craft that's something you take very seriously, you work hard at. And I'm wondering, you know, when you're writing songs and when you go in to record them in the studio, it, does acting play into that process at all? Or, or does music kind of live in a different chamber inside your head? I think it's a different chamber, but make no mistake, you know, we did a record called Famous for Killing Each Other. I don't know if you heard it. I think you would love it. It's a, it's a concept record, and it was all about while I was making Hatfield and McCoys. It had to do with my, my feelings going to work every day. My daughter even wrote a song that ended up on it. It's half uh, instrumental and half uh, lyrical. And it's just it's it just delves in that to that Appalachian world and that terrible vendetta that that took place over a hundred years ago. And um, 
it's a really easy album to listen to. It's really dark, but they're very cool. So I would say that, again, the movies kind of helped inform where we were at as a band uh, emotionally, if you say, where, where I was completely lodged. And so, you know, we write, you know, uh, you know, like Love Shine is just really about relationships. We all have them. We all deal with them. We all understand, you know, that, that sometimes they can get to a place that feels a little stormy or feels a little confused. And, you know, the song just deals with, you know, how did we get out of that? And the idea is simply, look, you just put the light on me. Let me put the light on you. Let's just kind of shut out all the noise. And if we can do that, we're going to find our balance again. We're going to find the reason we're together. So Love Shine is it's just, a, yeah, to let, you know, let me shine the light on you, shine on me, shut out the noise of everybody else. And so the band writes in that way. I think kind of, a, you know, um, it's just, you know, again, it's not trying to anticipate what other songwriters are writing to get their songs on the radio. It's just what we feel like in our own lives. So the fact that you're playing it, um, uh, appreciate it, you know, and, sure. you know, last time is, is, is something highly, highly personal to me. And, um, you know, that's just the, that's a, about a moment in life that we're all had or we're all facing. Kevin Costner on the phone and uh, his band Modern West. They are going to be performing in Verona at Turning Stone Casino on Saturday, August 19th. 8 o'clock concert. I don't know about the availability of tickets or not, but wanted to make you aware of that if you want to get tickets and see if there's any available. Kevin, I'm going to play Love Shine right now. Can you hang for a second? We'll come back. Sure. All right, here it is. Kevin Costner and Modern West. This is Love Shine on CJ Country.
That is Kevin Costner and Modern West. Song called Love Shines, CJ Country. Kevin joining us on the phone. I think it's interesting that so much of what I've heard of, of, of your band, a lot of up, a lot of really cool, really hooky stuff. This is a little darker, and you've got that distorted effect of, uh, filter on your voice. It's the only song, uh, well, I, I should take that back. It's the only song where we've ever treated my voice. Uh, Teddy, who wrote it and produced it, it was a, it was his choice. I thought it was interesting. It's not too far off, but there, you did detect that. It's the only song we've ever done that for, and I liked it. From what I know of you, you are a uh, a plotter. You are a planner. You don't rush into things. Slow and steady kind of wins the race for you. Over time, you'll eventually get to where you want to go, but you visualize things and make them happen. What is the end game for this band? What do you want to see it accomplish? There was no end game when I started this band. I just simply wanted to play live wherever I was making music. Okay, I find myself someplace for two or three months somewhere. And, uh, and life has to be more than a selfie or somebody spotting you in the market. And the idea of that I could go into the community and play in a club for two or three hours that was uninterrupted was very appealing to me. And to play original music was really the only way I would choose to do that. And so just the love of music and wanting to do it that way, what's happened is we've played all over the world. I've played in the Kremlin. I've played in South America. I've played on the Grand Old Opry three times. But I do that because I love doing it. If you haven't heard about it, it's because, I don't know, I didn't feel like talking about it too much. <laughs> I just went and did it. Right. Uh, and, and the people uh, in these places wanted to hear us. And so the band is about as organic as you can possibly imagine. It's not manufactured. It's what we love to do. The fact that you have both of these songs is, uh, I guess, was not in the grand plan. There's no end game. There's just the music. And the beautiful thing is that people are able to hear it because of people like you. Well, I, I appreciate doing that for you, Kevin. I mean, how could I not? You've given me so much joy over the years in your movies. Actor Kevin Costner and his band Modern West, and they're going to be playing at the uh, Turning Stone Casino in Verona on Saturday, August 19th. You can check and see if there's tickets available. The band's website is KevinCostnerModernWest.com. Kevin, what, what other worlds are there for you to conquer? You've done so much, and you, you, let's face it, when it comes to having hit movies, you don't miss much. So what, what's, <laughs> what's next for you? Well, you know, I'm, I'm doing this television thing called Yellowstone where I play a modern-day rancher. That's, that's, uh, it shouldn't come as any surprise that I'm doing something else, but that's what I'm doing next. Uh, but, you know, I co-authored a, a, a book called The Explorer's Guild about two and a half years ago. It's a real high-adventure book. In, in the vein of Jules Verne or, you know, Kipling. I, I'm not saying uh, we're those guys, but it's um, a, a, a book I did with John Baird. And for people who like high adventure, um, the Explorers Guild is uh, something you might, you know, want to check out on Amazon. It just, it's just a part of storytelling, only this one's 800 page long. Hmm. So, All right. <laughs> You got your hands in everything. Kevin Costner, um, I can't even begin to tell you what this has meant for me to have these few minutes to talk to you because I really do appreciate your work. Always been a fan. And, um, uh, you know, everybody told me how affable and nice you'd be, and you did not disappoint. I floated the balloon to my wife that I want to go to the, to the casino on the 18th to see you. So hopefully I'm going to get that, well, make that flip, happen. If you, get, if you get yourself there, make sure uh, the people who set this up uh, this interview up, know about it, and come backstage and see me. Oh, that would be I would I would be over the moon, brother. I really would. Kevin Costner, thank well, just you. Let so, me know. Just I will. Let me know, man. I promise. Thank you so much for the time, Kevin. It's been great. Bye bye.